there's no question that one of the most exciting topics that's going to be coming up over the next few years is the connected home. More and more things are coming into our house to give us connectivity through the internet uh, in a number of different ways. Most of these things that I've seen recently have been things like cameras inside of the house. But today, we're taking a look at something that I think is very cool. It's the connected doorbell. This is the Ring doorbell from Ring. And um, I got to say, these guys have done a fantastic job. They actually got the URL ring.com, so they're ahead of the game already. Uh, but yeah, this is a doorbell. That simple. You connect it to the outside of your house. You can actually replace your existing doorbell if you currently have power going to a doorbell, or it'll run off the battery and you can simply mount it as well. This sits outside and when the mailman comes to your door or your friends come to your door, they simply press this button. Makes a neat little noise, has a bunch of circles that go around. Well, what's happening when they press that is it's actually connected to your home network. It reaches out to your phone, whether you're in home, in the bathtub, whether you're out shopping, and it literally gives you a video conferencing to whoever's at your front door. So now you can have a conversation with that person. If UPS comes and you're not home, heck, take the call. You don't have to sit at home anymore. You can go shopping. You can say, hey, UPS, yeah, just leave it on my porch or put it around back. You can have that conversation with the person who's at your front doorstep. So very, very cool. I was worried about whether or not people were going to see these things and come up and rip them off because, let's face it, you're spending a few hundred dollars on a doorbell. I never thought about stealing a doorbell before, but this one I might consider. Well, Ring has thought of that as well. They actually use a proprietary um, screw technology for mounting, so it's not easy to just take away. So that's a great thing. Actually, if it does get stolen, they'll actually replace it. So not only is it um, about just ringing your doorbell, but it actually acts as security as well. You can set this thing up to have things like motion detection. So if in the middle of the night someone's coming up and playing Nicky Nicky Nine Doors, or if, uh, or if you know, even more someone's breaking into the house, you can capture all that information on video. And like with many of these cameras we've seen in the marketplace, there is an additional uh, fee that you can subscribe to for what's called cloud storage. So if you want to record all the video that's happened while you're away on vacation, you set up a monthly plan and you pay for those videos to be recorded and saved up to the website. So pretty cool system. I got to say that I'm really impressed with uh, the, the quality of this one. It's a, it's a heavy duty system. As I mentioned, if you take a look at the back here, it will mount to the, um, the existing power that you have going to your doorbell. Um, but if you live in a really old house where you don't have uh, any power going to it, as I said, it will run off a battery. My only knock is that um, it only runs off the 2.4 gig wireless network right now. So so that means that um, if you have one of those newer routers that's doing dual broadcasting, both the 5G and the 2.4, it will need to subscribe to the 2.4. It probably does that because that's the network that goes a little farther, and you're probably going to be pretty far away from your wireless router in the house. But other than that, if you can get it connected and it's working, pretty cool solution from Ring.